Ladies and gentlemen, Nev from Nev's Tech Bits here, and today I want to show you how you can quickly, easily, and freely clone and make backups of your hard drives with a simple program called Macrium Reflect Free. Now make sure, if you're using this for home use, to say, for home use. Anyways, let me open. You always got to download. I've already installed this, so it's a straightforward download, straightforward install. I have to update. Finish. So this is Macrium Reflect. Here you can see three hard drives that I have, and it's a pretty straightforward program. Uh, definitely great for the price too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my main drive up here and simply right under it you can either click clone this disk or image this disk. If you image this disk you are going to take an image of it and uh, it'll make just one big file kind of like an ISO an all in one file that you can put wherever you need it and uh, I have an extra drive where I save all my stuff but and if I was going to do that I just hit next few times but what I want to do is I want to completely clone over a disk and I just hit clone this disk clone this disk too and then I have a drive set up and ready for that so let's give it a let's give it a whirl next finish clone so once again the difference between cloning or making an image is uh, if you want to clone a disk you're going disk to disk but however if you want to if you want to take an image an image will just save as a certain file that you can load up and put onto another hard drive I've had cases uh, at work where this has really helped me I got almost a hundred of the same computer in and I needed to take an image of it so I took I took the enterprise installation I made a basic installation before putting it on the domain and I copied it over with Macrium Reflect. Macrium Reflect really saved my butt with that otherwise I'd have to set them up one at a time which would have taken forever. Definitely a big time saver. It was, uh, it was like the Clone Wars for me then. Just if it wasn't for these, uh, the cloning I would have been done. But yeah Thanks to the sweet gods of Macrium Reflect, everything was okay. This can take a while depending on how fast your hard drives are. If you, right now, the one that I'm transferring over to is in a docking station. So this could take about a half hour. It's definitely faster if you just have a hard drive within your computer that you clone over to a hard drive within your computer. Here I'm going to give you an example of how to take something that you've made an image of and put it onto another hard drive. First off, make sure you have your new hard drive loaded in through a docking station, through the inside of your computer, either way. And then figure out where you saved the image. I have it right here. And right click the image, go to Restore. Macrium Reflect will open right up. And then point it at a hard drive, and I want to use this one. Next, finish. Yes, I'm okay with that being deleted. And here we go. The image is being loaded up to that drive. It's that easy, that simple, very straightforward, very good. The only problem I ever had with this is that every now and then, uh, once I'm done an image, I'll put that image into another system, and it just won't take. I've had to redo it up to three times, but the, the the more time goes on, the more updates come out, the better this program is getting. Very impressed with it. I definitely recommend it if you're uh, if if you're a, a homeowner kind of thing. If you if uh, you have a business, there might be other things you can use. I use this when in business, but yeah, it's definitely worth free. It's definitely great for free. So. If you like this kind of stuff, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll have more stuff up in the future. Anyways, have a good one, people. Bye-bye.